Hi, this is Chris from Dan330.com. Today I'm going to show you the epic battle between man and buckthorn. I'm man, this is buckthorn. Let me show you a couple of the problems we got here. This is an invasive species, okay? And uh, it's not good. It chokes out a lot of native plants. It's just kind of a booger to get rid of too. Um, let me show you, a few years ago we uh, got a letter from our city and said we need to clear out all of our buckthorn. Having acres of land that really became quite the project. It took us about three years to get through it all. Um, some of the areas we didn't get attend to as much as we should have. And let me show you what happened. This right here, try to stay out of the shadow, keep out of the sun here. You can see this cut originally from a few years ago. Uh, this was a stump that we cut and we poisoned everything. Um, you gotta poison the heck out of them um, to actually let, have the poison work. But you can see that these regrew all over the place. So this thing is just grows like a weed. It's uh, It's got pokies on it. Yeah. Thorn. Show, show us the thorn part. Yeah, it's got thorns. Well, this one isn't so They're bad right here, but... I mean, you get a handful of thorns when you grab these bad boys. They're nasty. Yep, so what we do, um, the seeds, uh, some of the female trees have berries. The birds love the berries, right? And they poop the seeds all over the place. They're almost impossible to keep up with unless you mow them. Um, we found if you mow them on a regular basis, just once or twice a summer, uh, eventually you catch up to it and you kill them and they die out from your area, but you gotta keep up with it. Um, so today, uh, there's a couple things when you do go out back and clear them. Don't just chop them here, that's not gonna help it. Make sure you chop it down a level, you can actually mow it so you get rid of all those things. Um, or, as an example here, here's a small one. Pull the dumb thing out of the ground. In the spring, in the spring, you're going to see uh, uh, loose soil. Make sure you take advantage of that and you get rid of the uh, roots and everything. At least you don't have the roots re-sprouting like that tree. You're just dealing with seeds. If you can't pull them out, you can try uh, using a tractor or a truck with some chain. Um, here's an example right here. Gonna wrap the chain around a couple times and uh, hook it in. And you can okay. see, this is just attached to a trailer hitch. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna drive away and take a tree with me. All right. All right, you guys, who's gonna win? The truck or the buckthorn? I'm truck. guessing the truck because we've done this several times and <laughs> that's why there's a big hole You're not supposed to say that. Buck, thorn, or truck. I'm thinking the truck wins. So, piece of cake, right? So, once you get that done, um, you can just undo your chain and go back to the next clump if you want. But you can see it gets rid of the vast majority of all the roots. Just take a chainsaw or clippers, cut the rest of up, uh, up burn it, throw it away. Uh, I recommend burning it because any berries and seeds on there you destroy. And uh, you can see here, back in our hole, it's pretty clean. I'm not gonna worry about all those little ruts in there. If they, cause it's just gonna take a little bit of maintenance. And this is my helper, Johnny. How are you, Johnny? He's on worm patrol. His job is to get all the worms <laughs> so we can go fishing later. Yeah, good All right, work. Johnny. So we got the system down. That's how you get rid of buckthorn. Good luck and uh, check back our website, dan330.com for more. I don't. Need a big tank sauce.